Hello, welcome to The Trues, I'm Russell Brand. Subscribe here to get more Trues, more quickly, for more value. It'll still be free. Today we're talking about no more page free. Naked women on page free has finally stopped. Is this a victory for feminism? Who better to explain this to you than me, a bloke? Could this be the end of an era? The Sun has pictured topless models on page three for 44 years, not because they're newsworthy, but because it sells papers. It's immediately challenging for me as a man because I have a biological attraction to naked women that supersedes my rational evaluation of it. And just because something is more dominant, it doesn't mean that it's right. There were hints about a decision. In February 2013, Sun owner Rupert Murdoch responded to a tweet suggesting that page three was outdated. It's a weird thing, isn't it? Like, it's weird that we accepted it as normal. He said, you may be right, don't know, but considering perhaps halfway house with glamorous fashionistas. It's interesting that it's the Sun newspaper that are the real target because the Sun has a presumed power. Of course, women will still be denigrated in pornography online and, and print pornography and in other newspapers, but the Sun is seen as a powerful institution and an opinion former, so their commitment to page three is more significant. What's the nature of this change? Well, I think what's gonna happen now is women on page three are gonna wear bikinis, so you still will have them. It's sort of farcical, the things that the Sun presents are disingenuous. The Sun is a mouthpiece for a powerful elite that poses as a sort of chummy, blokey fella down the pub. The people's paper. As long as those people are men, white, rich, in power. That's the people that it's interested in. Many of those who are featured on our household names like Katie Price, but campaigners said it objectified women and undermined important stories about rape, sexual abuse, harassment and domestic violence. I suppose what we deal with in situations like this is symbols. Page three is a symbol of female oppression. So no more page three is a symbol of female progression. Because it's the presentation, I suppose, of women as passive objects that are acquirable or both desirable and acquirable. So there's not really a way of doing page three that doesn't promote, pro isn't primarily about for look at that. And I suppose like because it connects with something that's in me that desires and craves women in a very simple and basic way, it will be helpful if culture guided us in the right direction. Myself, I've often been a uh, correctly judged as sexist for sexist behaviour and attitudes that I've exhibited in the past. But that's something I'm personally trying to work on and uh, change can come from education and knowledge. And if people can't change, then we're stuck. In an interview of Sky News in September, the paper's editor defended page three. Come on, are we really in the world where we have to cover up breasts? My kids have grown up with it, uh, and I think they're completely well adjusted. Uh, they've no issue with it. I have one of each, so I have a, a variety of views on it. You can't use your own children. It's like, well, also my children seem to be doing okay with sugar puffs. Yeah, but it's too much sugar in sugar puffs. There's no doubt. Yeah, but I've given them sugar puffs. They seem quite well adjusted. If you were somebody who arrived from outer space in this country in 21st century Britain and asked yourself what is the role of women in society, to stand in their knickers and nothing else on, and that's been the depiction of women, I think women have got more to aspire to. I think these extraterrestrials as well, <laughs> they've got enough to have a lot of other things to deal with. And that's one of the arguments, isn't it? Because the extraterrestrials going, stop destroying the planet that you live on, stop having uh, an identity based on nation, stop engaging in conflicts based on differences, find your common humanity and connect with one another, create systems that benefit the majority. Uh, what about page three? Yeah, oh yeah, no, get rid of that. I don't know, that's not why, it's an institution. Why? It's an institution. <laughs> so it's Guantanamo Bay. It's been going on for 44 years now, um, so I don't say it's not hurting anyone. <laughs> Lots of things have gone on for 44 years. <laughs> it's not hurting anyone. Because what it is, is, like, if you ask me the question, do you like looking at naked women? The answer is, yes, I do. Do you want to live in an inferior society so that you can look at naked women? It was offending a lot of people. Then, then stop it. If, if not, then carry on. I think it's a big, big deal. I suppose, like, uh, feminism is one of those subjects where you're best to defer to women, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, sort of, like on the subject of racism, I sort of think, 
Mm, well, I don't know actually because I'm not in a maligned race. I'm in a dominant uh, racial group, so I can't really comment. So it's best always to, I think, on the subject of feminism to get information from women in this instance. I am a man, but I've tried to glean the information as best as possible from a uh, feminist perspective. Because perhaps the continuing dominance of men and a society that's presented as for male consumption primarily is a massive problem. The average British woman earns 80p for every quid earned by a man and in America the average woman earns 77 cents for every dollar earned by a man so women are earning a lot less than we live in a patriarchal society now that's universal all human societies tend to be patriarchal I don't know if that's true at a familial level where you get dominant women but on a social level men seem to be prioritized even in societies that developed in isolation like Tasmania Native America these societies tended also to be patriarchal. What is it about men? Is it their physical dominance through strength? Well that doesn't make sense because uh old people tend to dominate young people and like a 20 year old, like you know most 20 year olds in the country could beat up David Cameron or Rupert Murdoch but that doesn't seem to be relevant. Is it because men have this ex a tendency for aggression and war that creates a climate where those attributes are dominant? Is it because women that have tended to uh, prioritise childcare are the ones that have passed on their genes giving them uh, from an evolutionary perspective a more domestic role? We don't know but what we know is now a society that promotes feminine values such as cooperation, harmony with nature and interconnectedness would be a benefit to all of us, not just women but men as well. A decision to end the tradition of page three altogether could be more about public opinion but if the Sun newspaper sales decline there could always be a return. If you want to learn more, have a look at the Fawcett Society or have a look at Equality Now, both .org websites. Getting rid of page free is a positive thing, it's not enough. Frankly, we need to get rid of every single page of the sun <laughs> to advance society significantly. And we also have to get rid of the aspect of ourselves that craves promoting the sexual identity of human beings and the physical identity of human beings above their spiritual identity. Is it enough? Of course it isn't. It's a symbol, but it was a symbol of repression and this can be a symbol of victory and a symbol of progression and change and the efficacy of campaigning. That's some true news, true news, true news. Nose is a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Trues is like the news. If the news was true, I want some truths. Let's have some truths.